his show uh, founded in 1998, uh, started at my dining table. And uh, the currently, we have about, about over 400 locations in 28 different states. Um, let, me, let me tell you guys a little bit about uh, me, uh, where I coming from. So I was born in a country called Burma, and uh, it's uh, kind of not too many people know, just right by the Thailand and the south side of China. Um, the, it's coming from a very poor family. My parents and family is in the uh, food business. So I was grow up in the food business. I started helping out my parents since eight years old. And so imagine, you know, I don't really have uh, the, the, the kid life. And uh, the more important to survive and helping our family than go out and play. So that's how I started learning how about the work ethic and how about the working hard. And uh, um, the, the, once I graduated uh, high school, and I was the, uh, admitted to the, one of the, the high-profile school, uh, Medicare school. They, they, they select about 500 people in the whole country. The country about, about 55 million people. And they only select about five top uh, 500 people or uh, students, and, uh, and uh, they led to go into the medical, medical school. I was, even though I was born in Burma, my parents, uh, they are Chinese, and uh, that in, in Burma, they, uh, they won't usually let, even though I was born there, they won't usually let uh, uh, other uh, ethnic city to go into the high-profile school. But in the beginning, they don't really know that I was uh, among Chinese background, so I uh, admitted into the school. But a few months later, they found out my parents uh, are Chinese, so, so they kicked me out of the school. And that is the time that, that, that I started uh, dreaming to leave my country. Uh, the reason I picked U.S. because I was uh, introduced since I was so small. My daddy is uh, uh, the one that who introduced me to Western music, American music, American Hollywood, and uh, that's how I start crazy about the the American dream. And uh, uh, when I start came here back in actually introduction, mock introduction a little bit. Uh, I actually came here like 1989, not 1990, and with. Uh, a few dollars in my pocket. Why we have a few dollars? Because this is the only money that we can afford. Even I had to, to borrow uh, money for the air ticket from a friend of mine. I, I do have a friend. One friend, just friend, and, and, uh, and he, that time he was staying in a school in the UCLA. And uh, I, I flew into UCLA. He picked me up at the airport. And uh, the the first thing that he said, Philip, you know, I just want to be honored with you. I'm just a student, and, uh, and I don't have a lot of money to help you out. And uh, the most I can do, I let you stay at my uh, dome for a week, and then you be your own. So, so I ended with uh, a few luggage, and I ended up and, uh, moving into his dome, and uh, he at the UCLA he, in Los Angeles, he, he have a, a, a total of three roommates. But one or two days later, you know, all his roommates uh, start kicking me out, basically. You know, and uh, you're not a student, you're not allowed to stay here. So you know, you, uh, we, you're not welcome. So basically, you know, I had nowhere to, uh, to, to stay. So I ended a few weeks. Uh, Stay at my uh, friend's uh, car overnight. Then start looking for the job, and uh, and the in the beginning, early early part of my life in the U.S., I spent so much time on the pretty much 16 hour a day at least, and some of the time working has to work through 24 hour. You know, I working in a two or three three job, and uh, and 
at, at night, I working at the gas station, and uh, pretty much uh, the reason I, I chose a gas station at night, I got plenty of time to read. I love to read, and uh, at that time, I reading a lot. I read a lot about the the real estate because I love houses, you know, and uh, and I I like uh, uh, how Donald Trump uh, becoming Donald. That time, last twenty years ago, nobody, not too many people know know, know him much. He's not, not that popular yet. But I read a lot about him, and uh, I start dreaming about real estate. Uh, so I got my real estate license, and I start practicing real estate in Los Angeles for a few years. Then I realized that you know I wasn't that much in my passion, and uh, I used to be in the food business. I always uh, like to open uh, the the multiple chain, and uh, uh, when we were young, we always love to uh, uh, have a spray on the Madonna. Since so we don't have a Madonna in our country, um, the the first time I landed in U.S., the first restaurant I wanted Madonna because uh, uh, the the uh, I read a lot about Madonna, how they do their execution, and uh, and uh, how they grow into a uh, global chain, and that's how I get my inspiration. So um, I started learning sushi, and uh, when I stay working in uh, real estate uh, uh, as a uh, the the real estate agent, but I stay uh, at at the same time while uh, learning uh, as a uh, sushi chef, and. The, I saw lots of opportunity to uh, expand it into the supermarket and uh, and and the college channel and uh, uh, food service channel. So um, I moved here in uh, 1996 in Charlotte. Um, I w did not have lots of money to start on my own, so I uh, recruit about uh, three or four of my best friends and uh, uh, they are into, into the business. The first account we get uh, is in the New Jersey and uh, then after we finish signing and then we start talking about putting money in and start renting the, uh, the office and we realize that you know, it's partnership relationship couldn't work out well so I decided to not to do it Back in 1996, we break up. Basically, we haven't done anything yet, and we break up. And it took me about two years to start save my own money. Uh, so then, back in 1998, I start doing my own. Even though I save some money, but it's not enough, you know. And so uh, I started out with the one small computer in my dining room, and uh, and I still remember the first time I went out <coughs> for the appointment in the. Indiana, and so I don't he even have a, a formal business card because you know at the time you know uh, the reason I pick uh, Charlotte, I thought you know this is the the second largest banking city at that time. I thought it easier for me to get the finance and uh, but smaller community and easier for me to network and easier for me to get the money that I want. But apparently is. It turn out wrong, and then nobody want to talk to you, cause you don't have uh, any success story. And but now we we are in a good position, now, and uh, all the bank like to be our friends, you know. Uh, um, so so basically, I had to borrow all the money that I can get from the family and and the credit card, and uh, so. Uh, uh, the first time I went, and then I tried to say as much I can, and in order to make it survive, and, and before uh, we got breakthrough, and uh, so the I still remember the first uh, meeting that I get, and I uh, went to office depot, uh, pick up the the stationery, and start printing out my business card, and uh, then I the sitting in front of the the retailer, and the retailer said, Philip, uh, you know. Uh, he looked at my business card, and the first thing he looked at my business card, and he just shaking his he head, and I just realized that I'm, I'm not gonna get that call. And then he said, you know, uh, where's your office at? I told him, you know, I stood out my dining room. So then I came back. Apparently, I, I did not get that call. So the next day, the, and I went to the printing company and started printing out my my business card, and that's all back in 1998. But 
the the two year later we are uh, we are in uh, uh, the profitable and after that every year we growing um, the but a part of the growing pain that we have is uh, getting people that you need and uh, uh, the we have lots of good talented people that we uh, a lot of talented chef the sushi chef is as you know it's, it's not like uh, you can it's not like a baga flipper or you know it's, you can hire somebody for the uh, 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 Starbucks coffee maker you know you can teach about a few hours and you, you can become a, 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 you can work for Madonna or the the Starbucks but it's our sushi chef you need intense training and uh, is uh, that at, t at that time there's not a lot of chef for us to recruit so we had to keep training ourselves and uh, um, the and also in the beginning it's very challenging that, and the retailer don't believe in our concept and uh, we had to convince them and, and in the beginning they think that sushi cannot have a place in our the uh, retail outlet but nowadays you know you, you see every almost a lot of majority of the, the supermarket chain uh, either they have a one pound sushi or not either they have a fresh fresh made sushi or the fresh factory made product but we more focus on the freshly made uh, uh, sushi and uh, we we sent our chef out there and uh, we we made the, the product on site so uh, when we grow a lot of challenge on the, on the, the, the managing the people and uh, getting the, the right talent the people this is getting the game more getting interesting. Um, the but I can tell you that is a lot of the time that uh, even though we're growing, I'm not that very happy about the way that our organization grow because so many people hiring, hiring left and right. Currently, we have about uh, more than 200 employees and uh, working for us, and uh, we have a more than 200 share we call it independent contractor they are not un until our payroll they are until our 1099 uh, so we have about about four or five hundred people working for us plus additionally an uh, independent chef they hire their own chef and and so uh, the whole system running about uh, six to eight hundred people in the organization currently right now we have a more than 400 locations 